Dream Hey Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I'll be doing PvE guides and we'll start off with the dungeons. Today we're talking about the gold vault. I'm sure many of you probably have already cleared this, but for those who don't, I hope this guide will help you. This is the preferred team, which is the battery team with Luki plus Shay, Serena and a tank in front. You can use another DPS, okay, AoE DPS, or you can use a tank like me. This is the gear setup I have. The tank uses defense, Luki plus uses crit set, Shay uses skill up because you want her to charge more of your allies awakening gauge and for Serena she is using skill cooldown because you want her to heal more as she uses more skills more frequently. So if you have any other team compositions feel free to leave them in the comments. I have another team showcase at the back without some units here so you can stay tuned for that as well. So the main strategy for the gold vault is really to rally the piranhas. As you can see here I will link and then I will run around the piranhas just to get them close enough okay all closely together and then the AOEs will kill them immediately that's how fast it can be okay if you have any other AOE heroes you can use them as well for sure but the idea behind the battery team is really to heal fast get your outs fast move fast everything is really really fast because Luki is going to increase your movement speed and attack speed when he uses his ultimate so the moment that Shay uses her ultimate, all three of my other characters' ultimate gauges will also fill up immediately. Okay, and then Rudy will cast his shield so you can actually mitigate a lot of damage as well. Yep, so the idea is really, really simple. But if you don't have adequate gear, you may face some trouble because this is actually one of the dungeons where I got stuck for the longest time. I didn't attempt it until two weeks ago. Okay, then I managed to clear tier 10. But before that, I was really really stuck. I think the piranhas were all hitting very hard for some reason. And uh, only after where I got some gear going, you know, uh, I, I managed to clear it. So as you can see, I did a round again. Bring them all close together and then kill them off. If the mega piranha comes out, that is the one you want to kill first because that has the potential to hit you very hard and if you kill it, it will also reset your skill cooldowns. Okay, that is something very important that you need to know that. So once they reset your skill cooldown, Serena can actually heal your team again, Rudy can link again, everything will just go very smoothly after the cooldowns are all reset. Yeah, and see here, Shay actually boosts all the ultimate gauges immediately. I can use all three ultimates together and now my team is moving at a crazy speed. I think you do have the luxury of time if you are not taking too much damage but if you are taking too much damage you will want to try to uh, not run too much because otherwise they will just attack you and you will die very quickly and that is something I personally have also been through have faced so I totally understand if you feel that you know um, it's still difficult but give it time because ultimately it will be down to your gear once your gear is more decently set up, I would say you will be able to deal with this without too much issues. Sometimes if you don't find a Mega Piranha on the target list, you can try to run around for a little bit more until it appears and then you can clear it. And with the completion of the Gold Vault Tier 10, you do get a very healthy amount of gold each time you clear it. So it is a very good gold farming method if you actually do it a few times each day. For masteries, I did use my gold specific uh, masteries which is to increase range allies attack. This is particularly for Luki but if you want you can actually use the bottom one which increases all allies attack in general. I think that could be better so that you get more damage out of all your units instead. And overall I went for a more damage oriented um, uh, mastery. Remember to increase AoE skill damage as well so that you can kill more efficiently. And beyond level 80, actually none of the masteries really matter that much because they are all for specific content. And yeah, I think beyond level 80, once you hit level 80, I think it's good enough if you just want to tackle the tier 10. For my hero's potentials, my Luki is actually have nothing built, nothing built at all. Shay only has some HP built. Serena, I believe, only has some defense, very little defense. And my Rudy has max defense and some HP. Yep, that's basically it. So of course you guys may be wondering what other heroes you can use and over here I'll be showing you a second team which I tried. 
again I feel that you know with the right gear any team almost any team may be possible any AOE damager will be possible so that is why the gear is still the most important part of all your dungeon clearing and PvE clearing in fact okay so here I'm using Neo and my front line is gonna be Windigo Windigo increases AOE skill damage for all allies so that's going to help all your damage output really well in fact before even trying the battery team I was using Windigo and uh, I think my Windigo was just weak or the gear was just not good enough so I couldn't pass tier um, 8 very well even okay but I think with the with better gear now it should be possible and of course I want to stress that I after clearing this I did get the increased stat buff for the dungeon so uh, obviously this may look easier uh, to many of you but if you have adequate gear and probably properly built heroes uh, I'm sure this will be not uh, too big of an issue because Windigo and Neo, you know, Neo actually does a lot of AoE damage even on his basic attack. So there shouldn't be a big problem uh, with him clearing the dungeon for you. In fact, Neo is also one of the most preferred damage dealers for the Gold Vault due to his AoE capabilities. So here because all the piranhas are coming from all the different directions I just you know kind of stood in the middle and let them all come to me instead of just running I think that saves some time Ultimately you can also try to look at your skill cooldowns of your heroes and then plan accordingly you know run till you have the skill to kill them off that's one possible way because otherwise if you do not have the skill ready and you just group them together uh, they will chip your HP very quickly and that's not really what you want As you can see here, it does take a little while because none of my skills are ready and my Winnego is almost dead and I even have to use my pet to to heal him. <laughs> so yeah, Winnego, I mean tank wise may not be the best for sure and your entire team is also uh, not really shielded from damage. Rudy is better I would say but I mean if you don't have a Rudy, Winnego is one option to go Okay, for sure. Of course you can use other tanks as well or you could even use uh, heroes like Spike which we'll talk about later. So this team will definitely take a little while more okay, but it's still doable for sure. Yep, so 380s, 380,000 gold that about is really really nice on a daily basis. Okay, if you have more tickets for the gold vault by all means just spam it so that you get more gold. Okay, so other possible heroes, I mentioned this in the tier list video uh, earlier on. There's Fordina Eileen, there's Spike, there's Yon He. Okay, you can even use heroes like Velda um, to, to actually grab all the piranhas closer to you. And Velda also has a link effect, so that would be really helpful as well to mitigate a lot of damage done to you. So that's all I have for this video. If you would like more hero recommendations, do check out the tier list video I've made earlier. There are more heroes suggest there are more heroes suggested in that video as well. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Big shout out to my channel members, Christopher, Tom, Gonzalo, Jeremy, Fahas, Reggie, Yamaki, and Bilal for their support. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much and see you!